Hello again. This time I am going to discuss the last two operations of rational numbers and that is on multiplication and division of fractions. Once more, I am going to discuss these things through examples so that uh, on the process of my discussion, I hope you will pick up the process you would like to uh, follow whenever you are to multiply and divide fractions soon. And to our parents, grandparents, and guardians, of course, this is to refresh again uh, what we have taken long time ago the operation multiplication and division of fractions okay let's go okay so let us take now examples of uh, multiplication of fractions let's take example number one 5 over 9 times 2 all over 7. In multiplication of fractions, we are just multiplying the numerators together. So in this example, 5 times 2 is equal to 10. And we also multiply our divisor 9 times 7 is equal to 63 okay so simple there is nothing more we can do there uh, there is no common factors of the numerator and the denominator therefore we'll have the final answer of 10 all over 63 Okay, so let us take example number 2, 3 over 8 times 4 all over 9. Following what we have in example number 1, we multiply the numerators together and the denominators together. This will become 12 all over 72. Now, 12 over 72 are both divisible by 12. So, we can divide both numerator and denominator by 12. So, we have now 12 divided by 12 is equal to 1. And 72 divided by 12 is equal to is equal to 6. We can still have another process of doing multiplication of fractions. So let us still take 3 over 8 times 4 all over 9. While we have not multiplied the numerator and the denominator, and to avoid reducing fractions to their simplest form, if you can see a pair of a numerator and a denominator having a common factor, like for example, 3 and 9, both 3 and 9 are divisible by 3. So you can already cancel this number the term is cancellation meaning to say that is when they have a common factor this time their common factor is 3 so 3 divided by 3 will give us 1 and 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3 if you are going to see another or 
the other numbers 4 and 8, a numerator and a denominator. 4 and 8 are also numbers which have a common factor. So, we can also cancel 4 and 8. So, 4 divided by 4 is also equal to 1 and 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2. If there are no more numbers, we can cancel. We proceed to multiplication just the same. 1 times 1 is equal to 1 divided by 2 times 3 is equal to 6. So you can see with the first process we use, multiplying first the numerator and multiplying also the denominator, then removing what is common in the numerator and in the denominator, you can see that we have the same answer when we are uh, canceling numbers which have a common factor as long as they are combination of numerator and a denominator. So let's take now our division of fractions. Again, giving you an example of 6 all over 7 divided by 4 all over 5. In dividing fractions, there is a need to take note of your divisor. So after the division sign is 4 over 5, that is our divisor. Whenever we divide, the process is for you to take the reciprocal. So take note, it is the reciprocal of the divisor or multiplicative inverse. So what do we mean by those? Reciprocal or multiplicative inverse is simply to interchange your denominator with the numerator. So it will become 5 all over 4. With that, you are going back to your multiplication of fractions. So since we have already taken multiplication of fractions, what did we say? Look at your numerator and denominator. If there are numbers, a combination of a numerator and a denominator, like 6 and 4, that can have what we call a common factor, 6 and 4 has a common factor of 2. So we can now cancel these numbers. 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. And 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. Are there some more numbers? Combination of a numerator and denominator that we can cancel or have a common factor? No more. So... You can now proceed to multiplying the numerators together. So in here, 3 times 5 is equal to 15 and 7 times 2 is equal to 14. Oh yeah, we have a result of what we call an improper fractions. Improper fraction is a fraction where the numerator is greater than the denominator. So meaning you can change it into a mixed fraction by dividing the numerator by the denominator. 15 divided by 14 is of course equal to 1. And it has a remainder of 1 upon dividing 15 by 4. So that will become a numerator 
divided by that denominator. Let us take another example. Let us say we have 8 all over 9 divided by 5 over 6. So what did I tell you a while ago? In dividing fractions, there is a need to Consider first our divisor. Let us take first its reciprocal or multiplicative inverse. The divisor becoming the numerator, the numerator becoming the divisor. While the first fraction 8 over 9 remains, we have now the reciprocal of 5 over 6 is 6 all over 5. Doing that, you are to proceed to multiplication. Then, we can see our numerator and a denominator if there are things we can cancel. So, we can cancel 6 and 9 because they are both divisible by, divisible by 3. 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. And 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. Do we have still combination of numerator and denominator that has a common factor? No more. So, we are now going to multiply the numerators together. That will give you 16 divided by 3 times 5 is equal to 15. Once more, you can see in here, that 16 is larger than 15, so we can divide 16 by 15. 16 divided by 15 is 1. 1 times 15 is 15, and <clears throat> a remainder of 1. So in this case, our answer then is equal to 1. The remainder becomes the numerator, and our divisor is still our denominator we have now 1 and 1 over 5 and again this is an example of what we call a mixed fraction so that is a mixed fraction while this one is what we call an improper fractions okay so we are true again with our review on multiplication and division of fractions. At least um, this time, uh, you can recall, you are refreshed with your process of doing multiplication of fractions likewise on division of fractions so once more thank you very much for reviewing with me again uh, if you have not subscribed in my channel please subscribe click also on the like so that whenever uh, we have again another lesson that you will be notified on a new lesson if ever I'll be discussing a new lesson. Thank you.